Oh, wow. This is a story of change. I got my first tattoo the day I turned 18. What's going on in here today, huh? Everybody's first day. It's first tattoo and all. Oh, no, this is good, clean American blood right here. A lot of pain. And since then, I've gotten one almost every single year of my life. The first part hurts the most. They represent major milestones of what I've believed and what I've felt at various stages of my journey. They tell my story. All right, take one last look. Hey you be you. <laughs> but historically, I've been very careful. While I've gotten big tattoos and I've gotten a lot of tattoos, I've been very careful about where I've placed them. And I can always cover them up pretty easily if I want to. Gonna miss them? Fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I will, but I'm also like, you do you. All right. And while I haven't ever been concerned about getting a job, I've really liked knowing that I'm in control of telling my story and who I want to tell it to and when I want to tell it. Basically, I'm in control of who knows what about me. So these are kind of my ideas. It's like the transition from symbols of slavery to symbols of freedom. And we're just brainstorming some ideas here. I love planning surprises for my wife and kids and keeping the secret to myself until the very last possible second. Oh my god! Look at this! And in telling jokes and stories, I love keeping the punchline to the end and surprising people with the funny moment or the scary thing or the interesting tidbit. I am going through hundreds of these tiny little clips. That's a surprise for the kids. But recently, I've been challenged as a storyteller. And I've learned that the audience loves to be let in early. Is the degenerates, they're all gonna be waiting for us at Treeline. Take this classic suspense story. Instead of the audience being surprised at the very last second, the audience loves to know ahead of time that someone scary is in the room. And then when the main characters actually go into the scary situation, they worry and they fear and they go along with the character. How many knuckle tattoos would you say you've done? Uh, wait, by the knuckle or by the set? <laughs> by the set. <laughs> uh, maybe half dozen to a dozen. Never. That's it? Yeah, they're not that common. How many really? going around? I don't see that many. <laughs> and knowing this actually has changed the way that I've started to write my own stories. You see, last year we hiked the Appalachian Trail, and we're writing a book about it right now. And originally, I wanted to protect people from the Indian. But I've started to see more and more that actually some of the best stories give away the ending at the beginning.
some of the best stories give up the control of information. And instead of holding the viewer hostage, they take the viewer along for the ride. Except for Max Pub. I feel like that's not true. And that's because they, they were they undercooked. Were raw. They were half yeah, they were raw. They were and so today, I'm taking a step in giving up control of telling my own story. Okay, this is the point where there's no turning back. You see, for three years, I've wanted knuckle tattoos. So you said you had some jokes you were making about... About what? <laughs> about knuckle tattoos yesterday. Oh no, I was gonna send you a joke about like, uh, it was like... Look, man, if you change your mind at the end, like, just remember you can still always get, like, I don't know, like, I was just gonna make some jokes about, like, I don't know, like, big dicks or something. <laughs> like, like, instead, just to your mind. And today, I'm doing it. These tattoos tell my story of where I come from, what I've believed, and who I am. And beginning today, it's gonna to be really hard to cover that up. And I'm okay with that. Oh my hang on, you can't look yet, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you gotta come over here. But I think it's also gonna allow other people the ability to come alongside my story and my journey and me and to know pieces about me. All right, you ready? Yes. <gasps> but to do that, it means giving up control. Oh, wow. So that's the one side. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I've dedicated my life to trying to tell better stories. Whoa. And then here's the other side. <gasps> oh, wow. <clears throat> Wait. Wait. Those are real. <laughs> Today, <laughs> This represents a step for me of becoming a better storyteller. All right, I think we're done here. But it's gonna mean giving up control. We're still in business? We're selling coffee or something? Uh, yes and no. They don't, they, if you can still go in there and get a coffee, but they're not like a coffee shop anymore. Like, Cat was just kind of like, Wait, we just found out. Okay, what's Derma Blend again? So Derma Blend is like a makeup that you can use for like covering up tattoos, but uh, and you can just put it on before a meeting. Yeah, like one of the best, like the dumbest but best ads was. You ever see that guy that guy that was tattooed that's completely tattooed like a skeleton? Yeah. Oh, I saw that. So there's an ad of him getting completely covered up in Derma Blend. Uh, right. Yeah. It covers his tattoos completely. So even but, this. Can yeah. Be so, so it's not really a commitment. I could just. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just tattooing. Bondia makeup. <laughs>